you only have to walk through the streets of Cusco, Peru to see that something's wrong with what conventional archaeologists are telling us. Now what you're looking at here is Inca period construction. We can tell that because the Inca had bronze chisels and stone hammers. Now less than 10 feet from that last shot I just took is this. And this is what is called the Coricancha. What you can tell is that this workmanship is far more refined than what we just saw. And this is one of the most astonishing of all constructions in Peru. It's right in the city of Cusco. And you can see it's polygonal. And it's incredibly hard stone. This is andesite, andesitic granite. But anyway, Mason Remark, I'll just say, yeah, just, it's just make brute sense. strength, manpower, and tedious, tedious chipping away at the stone. Uh, you would think it would take them, whatever, weeks just to do one little stone, like one big stone, I should say. And now I'm more or less at the back wall, but it's not simply a wall that ends. The stream and the tunnel continue that way. You might be able to see the faint light at the end. This and the other one, they look like something from the future, not from the past. Yeah. It's like on a Star Trek. It is. It's a Star Trek set. So here you're looking at some of the finest stonework in the Americas and possibly in the world. And we're very fortunate today we have our guide, who's a local man called Rogelio. He was born in Oriente Tambo and he is an expert on Machu Picchu. So of those that are here, this one is quite intriguing. And these are the famous H blocks. Each one is slightly different in size than the other. So they could not have been made in a form and then manufactured a number at a time. Each one was individually shaped.